Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the progressive era or the progressive movement in Texas. Now, the progressive era, when we look at uh, what's going on in the progressive era, the progressive movement, you have a whole new, essentially new century, new world going on in America. You've got this massive industrial revolution that's gone on and completely changed the face of America. Prior to our, our you know, full-scale massive industrial revolution, after the Civil War, you have uh, most everybody, it's small cities, it's you know, local farms providing everything. Uh, it's not the, the world that we would recognize today. It would be very different. Um, <clears throat> however, because of this industrial revolution, you have America becoming what it is today. Um, here in these pictures, we have capital versus labor, and the woman in between is American commerce. And it says down here, come brothers, you have grown so big, you cannot afford to quarrel. Basically that if capital and labor fight too much, it will destroy America. And that is a big struggle we're gonna see in the progressive era where labor and capital are fighting over, uh, you know, improving the lives of laborers and capitalists or the people who are in charge and owners of businesses wanting to prevent that from happening because it costs them money. Uh, here we have the women's uh, suffrage movement where these uh, women who are protesting with their banners are being arrested for protesting for their right to vote. Um, those women did get locked up, some of them from as long as, a, you know, years, and uh, we'll get into what happened there. You also have a huge amount of child labor. These three young ladies are oyster shuckers from Louisiana. Uh, you can see that they spend all day long prying or open oysters with knives. Uh, when they do that, they tend to cut their hands. If you look there on their hands, these kids all have bandaged hands because they've stabbed themselves in the hand with an oyster knife. So um, imagine these young girls, they're all younger than you. So that's their lot in life. They're not going to school. They're getting paid pennies on the dollar for what an adult would be making to do this job and they're suffering the same injuries and the same danger to, to go through this. All of these changes in America brought about in the progressive movement, their three goals. <clears throat> the three things that the progressives wanted to do was protect workers. Workers, their conditions, their living conditions, the amount of hours they were working, the dangerous conditions they had, were, you know, it, it just terrible. So they wanted to spend time and energy to protect workers and improve their working conditions. The other goal of limiting child labor, child labor, they were doing all the same horrible jobs from oyster shuckers to working in factories um, and being so small they couldn't reach parts of machines, so they had to climb on the machines. You also have, um, you know, the the fact that these kids are working in coal mines and iron factories and just really just generally dangerous jobs, and their kids. Then down here we have pure food and safe food. Uh, the idea there is that in this time period, food was not treated the same way it is today. The laws that come about because of the progressive movement come about and really change the way our food works and, and food production in the United States works. If you're bored, I think you should go watch these two uh, videos on YouTube. The one on child labor uh, gets into those pictures and into the guy who actually took those pictures that really changed American uh, you know, view on child labor. So check those two out. This other one is a history teacher that does some good stuff about the progressive era and mostly that video is about the progressive era in the United States, not so much Texas. All right, so the plight of the worker, 
you basically have workers being taken advantage of by the owners of these huge factories, these industries. Uh, these industries have started to gang up where you have three or four factory owners who should be in competition. Rather than be in competition, they all work together to set prices very high and to set wages very low, which just you know destroys the conditions for everybody. You can see here that you know cloth workers average nine dollars a week, uh, linen workers eleven dollars a week. Over here you've got lumber workers six dollars a week, iron workers seven dollars a week, seven dollars a week. So you know think about that. That's some of y'all get more of an allowance than that, and they had to feed an entire family on it. Now, granted, prices were different back then. But still, this was not a wage that was going to make you happy and successful, even back then. All right, so let's go down here, uh, talk about child labor. Remember when I talked about those kids climbing on the machines? This is what we're seeing. This right here is part of those goals. Um, the safe foods, this is a meat packing plant. Uh, a lot of the, the parts of the meat that were being, you know, worked on actually fall on the floor. Nowadays, if a piece of meat fell on the floor, it would become trash. Back in the day, not so much. Uh, you can see this image here of the beef trust, where all these beef producing, produce, producing factories ganged up to keep prices high and to keep wages low for their workers. And you can see potted poison, chemical corn beef, uh, and I'm not sure what Bob Veal chicken is, but uh, tuberculosis, lard, putrefied pork, that means rotting. So the idea there is a lot of these things that the, the providers of beef, and this is Texas beef going up and being processed in these large cities. Uh, they talked about potted poison. Potted meats back in the day was everything swept up off the floor, including rats that had been poisoned and they were swept up and ground up into what is essentially spam and ground up and packed in a can and sold to people to eat and that was one of the cheapest options so a lot of very poor people were eating literally poisoned rats um, all sorts of other things that were going on in there that made meat a very dangerous thing and so if you couldn't afford the best cuts, you might get poisoned. All right, so now we get to talking about the progressive era in Texas, which is where we're gonna continue next time. All right, guys, thank you very much.